Hey guys, welcome back to Dimitri's Garage. Today we're gonna be working on my truck because it's been misbehaving every time it's gotten cold. I suspect it's a fuel injector issue because it bucks during startup when it's cold, which has been a little better now that I had a diesel clean and a liquid molly oil additive, but it's still not perfect when it gets hot. It seems like there's some kind of stiction when it's really hot and the fuel injector, which in this case is hydraulically actuated with the oil, uh, the motor oil, it, uh, it causes uh, it to stick and one cylinder to misfire when I'm idle at a stoplight in gear. So it's been really annoying. It's perfect when I'm driving, but let's try a few things to diagnose the issue and see what it might be. So guys, let's pop the hood open and take a look at this magnificent beast. So guys, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna check that the base motor is okay. I learned this from a Diesel Tech Ron video. I didn't invent this. Right here, you can squeeze this wire and pull it out and that goes directly to your starter and it triggers the starter. So if we get this cover out of the way, we could just touch this to the positive on the battery, which will turn the starter over. Make sure the key's not in the car, the car is in park. If you guys heard that, it was a very even kind of cyclical pattern. There wasn't like a dead cylinder sound anywhere in there. All right, so at this point, we're not gonna suspect that the engine's broken. So we're gonna Suspect that it's something to do with the injector, electrical, or fuel. And that plug is a little painful to get back in. You really have to squeeze and push real hard. Just be careful, take your time, don't break it. So guys, the next testing that I'm gonna do uses a tool called Auto Ingenuity. It's something I got very recently. This is the Ford Enhanced version. There are other tools such as the Clone IDS, which I'm also gonna get and play with. So guys, the first thing we're gonna do is take this little guy that's plugged into our laptop and go ahead and plug him into the OBD2 port. So there it is, blinking away. Next, we're gonna turn the ignition on, but we're not gonna start the engine. This will turn the computer on, which will let us do all the tests. So the first thing we're gonna do is launch the Auto Ingenuity tool. With the tool, we're gonna first click connect and pick our vehicle information. So in this case, we got a Ford. We'll say get the VIN. So there we go, power stroke, 6.0. We can click next. So let's start with the enhanced uh, powertrain can and see what we can glean from here. So it's gonna ask us if we wanna read all the codes and uh, we'll say, yeah, let's get all the codes. So here we go, we got one code thrown and no check engine light, which is P0263 cylinder one injector circuit contribution balance fault. This means that the cylinder isn't really pulling its weight and uh, it's not working as hard as the other ones. And it seems like an injector issue based on the code. Now I did see this code before with my SCT scanner, but let's do some, uh, some testing. So let's do the key on engine off test and see what it tells us. It's gonna do all kinds of stuff. Okay, so it's completed successfully, so we didn't really learn too much from that. Let's try the injector buzz test. So this is an interesting test. What it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, run the injectors and then run them one at a time so you can listen to them. So they're cold right now. Let's see what they sound like cold. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe it's bad when it's hot. Let's try some other testing. I think we can do a different kind of test, which is the power balance test. So right now this data seems to indicate that everything's great. Look, all the cylinders are nice and even. So guys, there's kind of a well-known issue with these trucks and this auto ingenuity suite is that the balance test will often show very flat and even while there's definitely an issue with one of the cylinders. Now we did get a really nice clean cold start. Let's see how the truck warms up and what it sounds like when it does get warm. Right now, the diesel clean that I put in and the liquid molly additive have really quieted down the cold starts. It really didn't sound that terrible when it cranked up. Now let's do a key on engine running test and see what that comes back with, after which we'll continue our power balance with a warmer engine, hopefully reproducing the unbalanced uh, issue that I was seeing before. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this test. Doesn't seem to be very useful. And let's do an engine running, K-O-E-R test.
that's really interesting. It's not even showing us that cylinder anymore. Let's take a look at the DCTs. So we're gonna clear the DCTs. We're gonna get the DCTs again. Let's see if that code's still there. All right, so the code's gone. It's not doing it anymore. Let's try putting it in gear, seeing what that sounds like on our power balance. So I'm gonna put it in, in drive and hold the brake. So here we go, I'm holding the truck in drive and I can feel that vibration. There is something wrong again, I bet that code is back. So I bet if we go back and rescan, or if we run uh, that KOER test again, I bet it comes up with that same code again. Uh, so this is, oh, and it just smoothed itself out. So let's try running that test again and seeing what it comes back with. Yeah, there we go, the code's back again. I think I'm probably gonna have to replace an injector. You know, definitely not seeing any other kind of electrical issues and other things to hunt. But let's see what a buzz test sounds like with the engine hot. Maybe something will be, maybe one will be sticking now. Let's, let's see. So guys, I just climbed back into the truck after doing all the tests. It's getting a little dark. I need to finish up real quick, but let me show you what it, see, what it sounds like when I run the truck hot, uh, since the cold start was nice and quiet when we tested it. So you can kind of already feel the vibration, the shuddering. Here's what the balance test data looks like. And again, this A data is widely considered to not be as good as the Ford IDS for showing you problems. And I guess I can't really just turn an injector off at a time like I can with the IDS, which I should hopefully have in the mail in a few weeks. If I haven't fixed the problem by then, hopefully the IDS will really show us the answer. And, uh, and I will show you the IDS regardless at some point on the channel. It'll be a fun comparison. Let's go ahead and throw it in drive. Oh yeah, see how much worse it is when I'm holding the brake and drive? Really bad. Neutral? Well, I still kind of hear it. Drive. That definitely got a lot less even and really kind of bottoming out at two, seven, and three there. There may be things wrong with those two. So you guys tell me if you have a lot of experience with AE, I'm just going based on what I'm reading in online communities to tell me that this particular screen is not as good as the Ford IDS one. And again, it does show my number one cylinder as being, you know, great. While the car's own computer is telling me that's the bad one. I'm kind of trusting the other people online that were saying the IDS is better for that than this. And guys, the really interesting thing is that this is really only at idle. When I'm driving, there's no problem. The performance feels great. It doesn't vibrate. Let me know if you've had the same issue. I'd love to know what your solution was. That's kind of the end of my troubleshooting so far. I think until I get the IDS, I really don't know anymore. Um, I'm thinking of maybe trying to replace that number one cylinder injector. For now, guys, I gotta go. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff to do today and it's getting dark. I'll catch you again real soon, but please do remember to subscribe, click like, leave me a comment. Baby.